you having a love hate relationship with DaVinci recently? What problems have you been incurring? Because I, I got a whole list. Actually, I should pull up the list. This is all the stuff I wish was changed. All right. Edit page, fusion effect filter, auto set on. Yes. All right. So the first thing I want is when you put an edit page effect on here, let's say, let's look for like Twix or something. Yeah, my Twix, right? We put it on here. It won't cache this effect. It might cache above it, like if, because I have this thing on render fusion cache, but it won't cache the actual effect. You have to right click it, render cache fusion effect filter, and then turn it on. I think that's stupid. It should just be on by default, especially when you have cache on, because then now you have to go through and you, you do, you have to go through every single clip by itself and turn that effect on. That is dumb. That is dumb. Let's see. What's another thing? Better support for edit page effects made it from fusion. I guess, yeah, they're just like, they have a bunch of glitches when you like move a setting underneath it. And these, they have, you have these edit page effects on here. They don't update their cache on these clips. It updates the cache under here, but it doesn't update the cache here. So you have random playback errors, which basically all you have to do to fix it is just copy everything here and paste it back to the same place. But just annoying. Uh, better fusion caching. I mean, they did do this. So that's nice. 20 times faster, supposedly in to Resolve 19. So that'll be interesting. Dockable UI panels. I don't think that'll ever happen. One click. 3d tracking yeah there's a couple clicks for 3d tracking in after effects you can just hit one button and it just 3d tracks a clip without even doing anything so yeah stable simulations i think this is more when i was trying to if you don't know what you know what's that what's that thing called with the text bounces on each other what's the script called for after effects uh newton newton there's a fact i was trying to replicate with the material particles which is basically it's a physics sim with hey, particles what? and it just takes up whatever geometry here and you could do kind of like just 2d physics sims and supposedly you could try and do that with DaVinci, but the particle doesn't actually take up the area that the particle is. So for example, I guess we can go in here to explain it. If I generate a particle, the emitter, the render, the bounce. I'm going to emit one particle here and then zero. Let's make this super big. Actually, what is it? Have you gone? Guys, make that five or the p bounce supposedly you could make a region where the particle bounces off it and usually it can be based off a bitmap which is like you know white or black let's just do like a, a point or not a point a, a line where's the line like here now supposedly if we have this go downwards this is particle supposed to bounce but you see like it only doesn't bounce when it hits the line like the, the sprite does but it hits it when it hits the middle now unfortunately if we want to do newton we can't because it needs to actually hit the side of it instead of the middle little things that you know not everyone deals with the, the on the day-to-day -day, but you know that would be nice that would be nice better keyframe panel everyone knows that updated performance on expressions in fusion yes hopefully they fix that too ability to disable expressions option from in the spline tab ability to disable okay yeah this is when we are looking inside the spline panel and we have an expression say here say like that it pops up in the spline panel here and it's just taking up room if we say have other animations here especially when we have like selected a bunch it takes up space here that we can't access you know it could be fine to have it there sometimes you want to see the actual expression but it'd be nicer if you can you know disable that at least temporarily so we don't have to see them because we can't even edit that we can only see them so my other complaints um expressions on global in and out controls yeah so say this you can't put expressions on these controls which you know i feel like would be nice but i guess you can fix that with a button but not not, not everyone knows how to do that connect the media into a 3d node it automatically creates an image plane in between it that would be hella nice so if i just do say this transform and i do this it should make it should make a, a media in or i should make an image plane uh that connect a 3d node to a normal node should automatically add a 3d render yes same thing uh fix defaults on modifiers if you make one it messes up it'd be able to edit the modifier fix default okay you can supposedly you can set defaults on nodes where like if you change the setting on here save it to your node panel and you open it up again you could have that setting already be preset for example i have one that's on my displace node like i have buttons that are saved onto here and you can't do that with modifiers which would be nice you can't even set pre uh, preset settings on the modifier itself which i think is what i just said but i was thinking about adding controls also but I can't do that. Uh, instead of automatically moving clips around, have a ghosted hover layer to show where the clip will go once you release your click. That's on an edit page. That's just an idea. Automatically track destination select layer based on clip selected. Yup. What do you mean? You can't save modifiers onto your defaults. Not onto your defaults. You can't save the modifier as a default. So say if I have a modify anim curves, say I want these settings to pop up every single time. I want the anim curves to, 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 to be here. There's no option to... Uh, set this as a default. I mean, there isn't the option to, but it doesn't work from what I remember. Let's do this one more. Uh, more support for API calls and edit page. Yeah, that's just more scripting stuff.